Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Alyssa's Bake Shop and today I'm going to show you how I made this summer vegetable harvest cookie set and I really like this scene because I like to garden myself and I'm always excited when it's time to pick all the vegetables. I originally saw a picture that had the base layer icing as all white and then kind of built upon there with the different colors and I've never really done this technique before so I decided to go for it with this set. So what I'm doing here is just outlining and flooding the cookies with white icing and today I'm decorating an onion, a shovel, a carrot, and a radish although the radish can also kind of look like a beet. And after I flooded all these, I dried them in the oven using the oven technique for about two minutes before I started moving on to the other colors. Let's start with the carrot first. So I'm just going to outline and then fill in the carrot using orange icing. But remember to leave some space between the white and the orange so that you can still see that white part. This is going to make it have a 3D effect. Then I'm going to go in and add the leafy tops, so I'm just using a light green color here, and then I'm just going to add some little leaves, just kind of following the outline of the cookie. I'm going to add some little tiny details just to make the grooves of the carrot, or the little lines of the carrot, I'm not sure what they're called. And then with another shade of sort of bluish green, I'm just adding some more leaves. Now I'm going to move on to the radish, so I'm just going to outline and then fill in again similar pattern as all of the designs in this cookie set. One of my favorite ways to decorate sugar cookies is when they're very simple but they have just enough details where they still come together in a really nice way. So examples of how to do that would be to add the white background here or to have two different shades of leaves. This just gives you a little bit extra without being over the top. Next up we have our onion cookie. So, and that sounds kind of funny, an onion cookie. I uh, promise it tastes good, but what I did was I added some little white roots on the bottom and then I went ahead and outlined and then filled it in using my scribe tool to just get rid of any air bubbles. Then I made these lines just to give it a little more signature onion look and talking about it like that is kind of funny in my opinion. But I, then I went ahead and I just added the little leaves and then we have to let this one dry. The last design we have a little hand shovel and I thought that this was just a perfect way to tie the theme all together. So I went and I outlined with gray icing and then I filled it in and then I just added a little bit more detail where I want the handle to look like it's attached to the top part of the shovel. Then I outlined the rest of the cookie with brown and I just filled it in and it just really came together in a nice way. I, I really like how these were simplistic, but you can identify what they are from looking at them. I think that's usually my goal that I always have when I make a sugar cookie set. And there was just a couple details that I did not record. So I went over the leaves on all of the vegetables and I just outlined them to give them even a bigger 3D effect. I hope that you guys like this video. I love making these little sugar cookie sets and then giving them to friends and family or eating them myself. I'll see you guys next time.